Hello friends, welcome to the another video. In this video, we are going to look into uh, some Power Query functions. Basically, this video is based on a, a question posted on uh, Microsoft Community Forum. Um, the question was, if an Excel file has multiple header rows, in this case two, and the first header row has some merged column, how to concatenate second header rows with the first header rows. Let me actually quickly uh, walk through the Excel file and then we will look into the solution. Here in Excel file, uh, we have two rows of the header, right? Row one and the row two. And the row two is actually uh, what the header is. Uh, but if you look at the row one, the bank one column is concatenated, uh, is a merged column between B and C. And D is a bank two column. E is again bank 3, bank 4, and then again G and H is a concatenated, uh, a merged column. So what the user was looking for is create a header where the merged column in the first row get concatenated with the column in the second row. What does that mean is in the, the header would look like a date, and then this will one bank 1 company operating. This will, this will become bank 1 company MM and then bank two, and then concatenate with this column, and so forth, so on. Uh, before we go into Power Query, let me quickly walk through what the solution should, uh, how we should be approaching this. So, so first of all, what I've, I, to try to understand the problem, what I did is I took the copy of the first uh, row, the all the columns, and copy that, and transposed into, uh, in, a, in a different column here. So this is what it looks like. So once we copy transposed and uh, now the merge column is showing in the uh, uh, first row, it's also showing up the merge, but let's unmerge it. So uh, remove that merging. So what we want is, uh, so this is how the call first row look like. Now if I go to my second column and copy that and transpose it into next to the, the first row columns, uh, one level down, shift cells down uh, yeah okay here you go so now the header is supposed to be this uh, this is the first row so let's put it here first row and this is a uh, second row so the, the the actual header should be a first row and concatenate with the second row so that should be our header in power query in Power BI. So first of all, what we need to do is the one which are the merge column, it bank one is showing only in next to the one column and not to the second one. It means we need to fill this down. So this will come, uh, actually should be copy bank one, bank two. And similarly, PVST would be copied to the next column, PVST. So basically, we, first we need to fill uh, the merge column um, uh, the blanks with the, the, the previous value. So that's the one thing. Once we did this, so now we have the first row being uh, created and the second row is, it, there's no column next to the date, which is perfectly fine. So what we need to do is, we just need to trim uh, a concatenate these together. So what we can do is so concatenate function we use and we want first row and then a space in between and then the column from the second row and parenthesis close. So this will give us the, now there is a, because this doesn't have the first row and we have a blank in here. So what we can do is we can trim it so that the blank is removed. So, okay, perfect. So now we have the row, if we copy this column here, so this becomes our header like date, bank one company operating, bank one company MM and so forth, so on. So now this is the actual header, what we need to use Power Query. So basically what I showed here, we need to apply the same steps in Power Query. What we need to do is first we need to get the first row, fill in the blanks, uh, fill down the values where the blank is there. And then we get the header of the, the, the value of the second row. Once we have that, then concatenate these together. And once we concatenate these, then we use that as our column headers in, in Power Query table. 
So let's see how we're going to do this in, in Power Query and repeat all this step, pretty much exactly the same steps in Power BI. Um, so I'm going to switch to Power Query here quickly. So here I already have the file. Uh, again, I already have those steps, but I will walk through those. So again, if you look at that, the source is the same file which I'm using and the navigation. So one thing I want to uh, point out here is when you connect to the Excel file, it automatically promote headers and add those steps. I removed all those steps and just kept the up to the navigation. So basically just reading the sheet at this point of time. So as you can see, we have the uh, first row and the second row. And the way Power Query interpreted the merged column, it added the bank one in the one column and the other one is left blank. And similarly, bank two, bank three, bank four. And if you go to the, um, uh, actually this should, I should refresh, it was called something else. Yeah, per value short form, it should be, actually I'm pointing a different uh, file. This is per value short form. Again, um, column eight is blank. So that's that's how the first row look like. And of course the second row look like. So if, you, if we go back to the steps, the first thing what we need to do is we need to get the value of the first row. So here I added a step. I manually added these steps in the advanced editor. So the steps what I did here is uh, racket to table. So took the first racket. So basically sheet one sheet uh, is, a, is a step in the advanced editor which is giving us the table and the zero is the racket starts from the zero uh, when we're looking at the table racket so again going back to the navigation one uh, zero means this particular racket one means this second row racket and it, it, it starts from zero so i took my table and then uh, took the first racket so that gave me um, all these values so name and the value so for the first one, the first racket. So now I got uh, in a table format, the racket to table because I need to convert into table. If I don't, if I just use sheet one, it will give me a, give me a racket, not the table, but I need it to be in a table. Once I have this in a table, the next step I did is fill missing. What does that mean is any value which is null fill that with the previous value and this is out of the box functionality in power query so if you go in a transform tab and there is a fill uh, transformation you can fill down and up in this case i'm filling down so if you we go back to the previous value so we have bank one and then the null value bank two three four and then per value short term and then the null value so when i did the fill missing it filled the missing it filled the null value with the previous value so here we were had a null value now it is being filled with bank one so now we made this particular uh, we got this value and after this i did i need to convert this into a list so how to do that this is a table right now and uh, i uh, in advanced editor i added another step i call it merge column as list so basically if you see here is the fill missing is the name of the table which is the previous step and the value is the column and that so when i used fill missing table name and in the in the square brackets the name of the column it gave me the list so we got this particular result at this step so again switching back to excel file which we did for the demo we now able to achieve this so we have a list with uh, missing the blank value filled with the previous value so we able to get the first row now what we did is i added another um, uh, manual step header row again the same thing now in this particular case from the table i'm getting the second racket uh, uh, which which is offset as as i said uh, the racket start from zero so i took the second racket basically if we go back to the navigation here uh, what we got here is i got now this second row as a uh, as a table so if I go back here, so now we have the same uh, stuff uh, as we did for the merged column. So what we need to do is we don't need to do any other action in this because this is already a complete. What we need as a header column as a list. Again, I created this into a list. So this is a table right now. So if we go header column as a list, what I did is header row, which is name of the table and value is name of the column. And this gave me a list of the values. So again, going back to the Excel file, 
um, if we look into so now what we got is we got the second row uh, we got this value and we already have these value so what does this means is after this once we have this two list separate we need to concatenate these lists together so again let's go back because then we get to this point um, the the actual final headers what we are looking for um, so what I did is I added another step called new columns as list so I use the list transform function here uh, and the list.zip I would uh, let you go and look into the list.zip function what does it do so it's basically combine those two lists together so uh, what I did is I combined list so list.zip I took the merge column as a list again going back merge column as a list is the list of the first row had a row with blanks being already filled and uh, header column list is the second row where we have the second row as a column header and then I created a new column list so list.zip combined my first row col list columns to the second row list columns and then on top of that I applied the list.transform function what did I list.transform function did I uh, I had my own function written in here simple so each means go through the each record in the list or each uh, uh, row of the list and then combine those together again text dot combine underscore this means is a is a value and then uh, put the um, space in between so now we got the list eventually we have the concatenated value here uh, from the first row and the second row so at this point of time what we got here is we 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 have now these these values so now once we create which we have our column headers now what we want it to be now it is super super simple from here so now the next step is remove rows so uh, i took my sheet one uh, again this is the original table uh, in the navigation step um, it has because we don't need these uh, two first top two rows anymore because we need to remove that and because they don't they are only for the purpose of creating the headers and uh, what I did is remove rows so now we have a table uh, with the values only and these column headers are given by uh, automatically column one two three four and then the next step is this is there are too many videos and all the stuff is like how you can create a rename columns from a from a table uh, on in a table from a, a from a list so what I'm doing is is a current column as a list. So I took table column names, uh, remove rows. Remove rows is a previous step. That is a name of the table. So what I'm saying in this current column as list is okay, okay. Give me what is the name of the columns at this point of time. So it give me a list of all the column names right now. So there is a nine column. Uh, again, if we go back to remove one, so it give me column one, two, three, four, five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I have an existing column list and we already have a new column list which is concatenated from the row 1 and the row 2 and um, so what we need to do is again a rename column list is I created uh, another uh, to renaming a column you need a, a old value and the new value so that's how the rename of column works so I with the list dot zip I created that so what I'm doing is what is my current column is list is which is column one two three four and what is my new column as a list which is a concatenated columns so now I have a list of columns if I click on any of the empty space here so basically you will see in the preview so what it's saying is uh, column one is a date and if you go to list second row it's column two is gonna be bank one company operating so now this is concatenated column so now we know the the current columns will be replaced with the new columns what that looks like so this list.zip is did that for us so that's what required for the renaming and now we have a final step which is just a rename step so what we're saying is table.rename columns our uh, the table name is remove rows if you if, if you remember the remove rows is a step where we removed all the top first top two rows because we don't need those we just kept the data and uh, then we did is table rename columns on which table we need to apply renaming so which is a remove rows uh, that's the name of the table and this is the name of the columns the renaming we need to do so now what happens is uh, 
uh, we have the actual columns so date bank one company operating bank one company mm uh, bank two bank three and it's, it's correctly aligned with the way we wanted it to be again these are a um, uh, few steps and few different techniques basically functions we use is uh, we we get a record from a table uh, pointing to the record number which is starting with the zero and converted that into the list and uh, and then with the list dot zip we combine those lists together and uh, and then with the list dot transform we concatenated those once that is done then it is very very simple just get the existing column names uh, from the table and uh, apply the new list which we created and uh, with the rename step we able to achieve that but before that again i i looked into i did this in an excel if i have to do it in a manually how i will do it and then i took that approach and applied it in power query i hope you learned a few power query things in this uh, what i will do is uh, i will attach this excel file um, for downloading uh, in my video description so you guys can take a look at that and uh, a look at the steps in the advanced editor and uh, and learn from it uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, how you guys have done this in the past because this is very very common where we have a excel file with the multiple row headers and um, and there's a merge columns and uh, other stuff as well uh, this technique we can really um, you know read the headers and then twist those and uh, you know transform those the way we want it to be and then we can apply those changes back to the uh, column headers thanks for watching do subscribe my channel bye for now thank you bye now